Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this fashion frog. So the reference photo for this I found on, uh, not Pixabay, um, Pinterest. And I modified just a couple of things on the frog. I think I modified her suit slightly. Um, I gave her kind of knobby knees and elbows and what else? Oh, and I modified her mouth. So there, but you can find this on, uh, what did I say? Pinterest. I don't know. My brain is not working this morning. And this is a pretty easy design to draw out. Um, so I would encourage you if you're new to kind of sketching out your designs to give it a try. This one's pretty easy. I'm starting with a mixture of green, hooker's green, and yellow ochre, and a little bit of white to paint in the frog's, I guess, skin coloring. And this is actually a rock I found on our property. I got kind of lucky with it because it's pretty smooth. I get excited when I find rocks on our property that we can that I can use. So now I'm going to take some magenta and white. And the actual color is quinacridone magenta. And again, I'm using Liquitex Basics. Um, that's kind of my go-to paint for everything whether it's rocks or canvas. And I'm just painting over my design because I can just freehand that later. Sometimes that makes it a lot easier than trying to paint around the flowers and stuff like that. So now I'm taking just a little bit of a blue. It doesn't matter what kind of blue. I think on this one I use ultramarine blue and, a, and white to color in the eyes. Now I'm back to my magenta to do the umbrella. And then I'm going to take a little darker magenta to indicate the folds. And it looks lighter. I'm just going over this with a second coat. But remember, paints a lot of times will dry darker. So now you can see I'm adding in my little stripes. This is the folds. Uh, they're not actually stripes. It's the folds in the umbrella. So now I'm going to go ahead and outline the design in black. And originally I kind of pulled her muzzle down to where it'll or her nose where it'll meet her mouth I go back in and I change this later I didn't like the way it ended up looking And I'm going in and trapping everything in black so that I can go ahead and add the flowers. On the original design, she has a one-piece like bathing suit on. 
and I decided to make it a shirt and sh like shorts just to kind of switch things up a little bit and for the outline I'm using the Createx opaque black because it's a very liquidy black Li liquidy is that a word Li liquid black it's very dark. It actually shows up against the black background. And I use for the base color of the rock, it's actually a flat black by Apple, Apple Barrel. Now I'm going in and adding in the flowers. Now I'm taking some titanium white and this is just straight titanium white. You could make this whatever color you wanted to, but I'm just doing it in in white. And I'm kind of filling in the design like you would in a coloring book. I'm trying to be as neat as I can so that I don't have to go back over this in black again. But if you do make a mistake, it's no big deal because you can go over it in black. This rock took me about 40 minutes to paint. So it's kind of a quick, it's a quick one. And I think she's really kind of really cute. So now I'm adding some more of the yellow ochre to the green to lighten it up. And this is going to be kind of my highlight color. And now I'm painting over where I said I'd kind of wrapped her nose around to meet her mouth. I didn't, I didn't like that, so I went ahead and erased it, giving her some eyelids. And now I'm taking red and going to paint her lips in. And then we'll take some straight titanium white and add in some little lines to indicate the shine of her lips. So now I'm taking a little bit of a green and black to make a shadow color and shadowing in the areas where I think there should be a shadow. And doing the same thing with the magenta and I do go around the flowers and the trim I go around the flowers to get them to pop off the suit just a little bit so as I wrap up the details of this rock I just want to take a minute and thank all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers your support means the world to me please leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see me paint next and again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.